Hello guys, my name is Nikander, I'm a professional blockchain developer, and in this video we'll see how to send messages between contracts on the Tom blockchain. Let's get started. Open VS Code, create new project, npm, create, Tom latest. Project name messages between contracts, the first contract name is counter, select an empty tagged contract, Navigate to the project directory and clear the console. Now we are ready to write our smart contract code. Open the contract file in the contracts folder. First, we declare two variables, val and query counter, both as uint32. The val variable keeps track of our counter value, while query counter counts how many times the counter value has been queried. In the init function, we initialize our variables. We set val to 0, starting our counter at 0, and query counter to 0, indicating no queries have been made yet. Create a receive function increment that allows any contract to request adding 1 to our counter. Inside, we increment val by 1. Then we reply with the updated value using some message. Let's create an additional contract called messages to store our messages. Define a message called counter value, which contains a single field named value of type int. This message is used to send the current counter value between contracts. Import the messages contract. We send a reply using the self.reply function. We create a counter value message with the current counter value self.val and convert it to a cell using toCell function. This sends the updated counter value back to the requester. Create a receive function query that replies with the current counter value to any requesting contract. Inside, we increment query counter by 1 and then send the current counter value back using a counter value message converted to a cell. Finally, define two getter functions. The value function returns the current counter value stored in self.val and the query counter function returns the number of times the counter has been queried stored in self.query counter. Our contract is ready. Let's build it. npx blueprint build. Great, we have no errors. Create a new contract, npx blueprint create. The contract name is bulk other. Select an empty tagged contract. Clear the console and open the created contract. Declare a variable target of type int. In the init function, we initialize target to zero. This variable is needed to store the target value we aim to reach when interacting with the counter contract. Create a receive function. Define a message called reach that contains two fields, counter of type address and target of type int. This message is used to specify the target value and the counter contract address to interact with. Receive function handles messages of type reach. First, we set self.target to the target value provided by the user in the message. Then, we send a query message to the specified counter contract to request its current value. Create a receive function that handles messages of type counter value. When we receive the current counter value from the other contract, we check if it's less than our target value. If it is, we send an increment message back to the counter contract, asking it to add 1 to its value. Our contract is ready, we can build it. npx blueprint build. I forgot to import the messages contract. Let's import it and try to build again. npx blueprint build. Great, now we have no errors. Let's see in more details what we do here. Step 1. User sends the target value. 
In the bulk other contract, the user sends a message of type reach, which includes the target value we need to hit and the address of the counter contract. Step 2. Request the current counter value. The bulk other contract sends a query message to the counter contract to request its current counter value. Step 3. Counter contract replies with current value. The counter contract receives the query message and replies with its current counter value. It increments the query counter and sends a counter value message back to the bulk other contract. Step 4. Bulk other receives the current counter value. The bulk other contract receives the counter value message with the current counter value. It then checks if the current value is less than target value. Step 5. If too low, request increment. If the current counter value is less than the target, the bulk other contract sends an increment message back to the counter contract, asking it to add 1 to its value. Step 6. Counter contract increments its value. The counter contract receives the increment message and increments its counter value by 1. It then replies with the updated counter value. After step 6, the process may loop back to step 4, depending on the current value of the counter compared to the target value. Let's build our contracts again. The contract counter and the contract bulk adder. Now we can write some scripts. In the scripts folder, create file called trigger bulk adder. Define an asynchronous function run that takes a network provider as an argument. This function will be used to interact with the deployed counter and bulk other contracts on the blockchain. Create instances of the counter and bulk other contracts by opening them with the provider and specifying the deployed addresses. So, first we need to deploy the contracts on the blockchain. npx blueprint run. Select deploy counter. I want to use the testnet and I want to use tonekeeper wallet. A QR code has appeared. We need to use it to connect our tonekeeper. Connect the wallet and confirm the transaction. In a few moments, the deployed contract address should appear. Copy and paste it in our script as a counter contract address. Do the same thing for the bulk other contract. Declare a constant target counter value and set it to 3n, which is a big int representing the target value that we want the counter to reach. Retrieve the current counter value using counter.getValue and store it in counter value before, then lock this value, the same way we get the current query counter using counter.getQueryCounter, store it in query counter and lock this value. Send a rich message to the bulk other contract using provider.sender we specify the sender and we provide a value of 0.05 ton, the message includes the type rich, the address of the counter contract and the target counter value that we want the counter to reach. Define attempt variable and initialize it to zero. Define counter value after variable and initialize it to the initial counter value. Then enter a loop that continues until the counter value reaches the target value or until we have made 100 attempts. In each iteration of the loop, we increment the attempt counter, lock the attempt number, retrieve and lock the current counter value and query counter, and then wait for 5 seconds using sleep function. After the loop, we lock the final counter value. Our script is ready, we can run it. npx blueprint run. Select the trigger bulk adder. Testnet. 
TonKeeper Wallet, confirm the transaction in TonKeeper Wallet. Then we can see the logs in our Visual Studio. As you can see, counter value before is 0, query counter before is 0 too. As you can see, our final value for counter value is 3 and the final value for query counter is 1. There are no counter values of 1 and 2 in our logs. This is likely because all increments were completed within a single 5 second window. The final value of the query counter is 1 because the bulk other contract queries the counter only once. Then it receives the values as responses from the counter contract during the increments. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.